Hello, my name is Sodat Phoenix, and this is my unboxing of another Japanese import um, collectible, which is Ray from Ivan Galleon 3.0. As you can see, the front of the box has a plastic window to show the character itself. On the bottom is Japanese writing, but also there's English writing on the bottom, which has her her whole name, Ray. Um, on the bottom. I won't try to pronounce her last, her uh, actual surname because I just, I don't want to butcher her name. Um, it is Japanese because I, I believe it's Japanese. So on the front of the box you get a window to see the character. You also on the side you get the um, Yvonne Galleon um, name written here as well as um, a logo. Isn't that meant to be red? I thought it was meant to be red. So Technically, on the back, you get a little diagram about how to build the character. Also, you get the cautions, the, the how much, um, how tall the actual figure is, that kind of stuff on the back, and descriptions. Also, from the maker, Sega. I've noticed Sega is doing very well for the figures in Japan. Their, their, their line is extremely detailed and extremely well made. On the other side, you get the same as the other side. Um, on the top, it's just Evangelion 3.0. On the bottom, the same. So I'm going to open this up and show what, what you get inside the box. I'll do this off camera. Okay, I'm back from unpacking. Uh, the stand is just a normal plastic stand. It has the, what I expected, this is meant to be red, Evangelion. Um, logo on the bottom as well as the title uh, it doesn't have much mass it doesn't have much weight so it and it doesn't have any cloth to surround the actual areas so it will slide around a lot if you put material around the sides maybe it would actually grip the table or gr grip a bookshelf a bit better so it won't move as much so there you also get in the box a huge scythe uh, the reason why the end needs to be put together is because the scythe is actually very long. Um, on the back, bottom, uh, actually on the back of that box, it said that this is extremely pointy, so it can actually hurt you or poke in your eye. So be careful. Um, so I'm going to put the scythe together. Yeah, the scythe is extremely long. It is extremely long. Um, it's extremely tall and long. Um, I'm going to put Ray. This is this is what Ray looks like. Um, which yet again, I'm shocked how detailed she is. Um, no paint, not not a bad paint job as well. There's there's a kind of inseam here that I don't like, which is kind of where the the, the plastic was joint with her arm the middle point point of her arm was joint but yeah the details are from these characters as well as sega themselves they they know how to do figurines quite well so i'm going to put her on her stand and show you what they look with the, when she looks like with the scythe do this right because the hand can only get the scythe in one direction. Ugh. It's a bit fiddly, I, I have to point out. Ah. There we go. I've done it. There we go. So yeah, that's what she looks like with the scythe. I'll move it away from the camera a bit more. I'll just zoom in a bit more. There you go. So yeah, I'm, I'm still quite shocked and stunned to see the level of detail um, on these kind of characters with the price. I, pay, I paid the price of 20 euro for this one. It's a bit more expensive, but you get this huge 
scythe, which does come out. So if you're going to buy this figure, expect the scythe to move a bit, um, because it is problematic. Um, if I would, if you're going to not move her after you take her out of the box, I would advise putting a bit of glue to stabilize the scythe to her hand. Um, basically, she sticks quite well to the base itself, so I don't think you need to glue her there. But the scythe, as you can see, really does come off quite easily. Um, so I'm just going to put try to put this back in her hand, if I can, from this direction. Oh, it's a nuisance. There we go. Can you just stick in your hand? Come on. There we go. Oh, see, this is this is the problem you have with these figurines. That's why I say you're better off having a bit of glue to help stick. Yeah, I have to do this. One minute. Get in. Yeah, I'd say putting a bit of glue is the best advice when it comes to this thing because it will just keep falling out. Um, the scythe is very long. It's a lot taller than what, how she's standing because it's at an angle. The scythe is quite impressive. I mean, if you've got two of these actual figures, you could have these two scythes um, on your wall or you could use it as some kind of... Um, you could probably use these scythes as something else. If you repaint certain elements of this, you could probably make some kind of um, different kind of character or symbol that uses scythes. Um, I'm thinking more like Skyrim or something kind like that. So yeah, I'm quite impressed by the character and the detail. I'm sorry there's too much light coming in. I think I'll stand in front of the light so at least you can see a bit of what she looks like. Because my camera picks up too much light. Um, that's the problem with my camera. Ah, oh, there goes the scythe. So yeah, if you were going to buy this, I will put a link in description, but this you need to glue. So the close-up look what she would look like from afar if the scythe was here so yeah the the figure itself turned out quite well I think for such a cheap price um, for these items so I will be opening another one. I think I'll be opening up um, another Yvonne Galleon in the future. But at this point, um, I'm quite happy about what Sega is doing with their figurines. I mean, for such a, a cheap price for these things. I'm actually, I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I'm just quite surprised how cheap these well-detailed characters and such a good paint job on, on these characters as well. So yeah, this was my unboxing of Ray um, from Eve, Yvonne Galleon 3.0. Uh, my name is Sildar Phoenix and I'll see you next time.